Uh, it's part three. The sun is just about to fully set. I don't have any reeds. I think I already got seeds. I hope I already got seeds. I don't have time now anyway. I, uh, uh, I don't think I got seeds. That's okay, though. I'm taking grass up. I'll get food eventually. Right now, all I need are cacti and reeds. Please. <laughs> no. I have until the sun fully sets, and then I'm done. Ah, oh, coal. I can't harvest you, though, even though I have a diamond pick. I don't have time to harvest coal. Just gotta follow the coast and pray and hope. Oh, I'm not gonna find any crap. It's been like 30 minutes underground. Uh, Cole, quickly. <laughs> Come to me, Cole. Must find tiny lake with reeds growing on its banks. Why is it slowing down so bad suddenly? Like that sort of thing. That shouldn't be happening. I guess I am loading new chunks, but still. No. Ugh. God, no. Oh, monsters are spawning. Okay. <gasps> reeds! Reeds, go! Go, reeds, go! Oh god, climb! Climb! <laughs> uh, where do I go up? I'm just gonna go up here. But I have to do it so I can get the grass up. Uh, okay, I'm now officially climbing, so I guess that this counts. Oh man. Okay, so you can see that I'm staggering my stairs on the way up. Um, what this does is it allows grass to grow up. Um, I don't remember which side I'm on now. I shouldn't have been talking. Uh, yeah, I can't really even see this very well, though. Oh, I need to destroy this one. Okay, destroy that one. Yeah, sweet. So you jump up, go over the block, destroy that one. And what this does is it zigzags and allows the grass to spread upwards diagonally, and it uh, will eventually, eventually, emphasis, grow all the way up and allow you to spawn farm animals and get seeds and every other cool thing the grass does. Well, now I definitely don't remember what side I was on. I'll just stand right here in the middle. Mine out that one. Sweet. I think I'm still good. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh man, this challenge is hardcore. Let me review what I actually did get. I never did get those seeds. Here's my gate right here. I have the flint and the steel to actually light it, so I will have an actual gate. A decent amount of coal, some buckets so I can actually transport lava out of the nether. Um, diamond pick. Roses, torches, not that many torches, but I got some of these. No cacti, but cacti aren't really that useful. Some spare gold, that's kind of cool. Um, I get, did get Carl, that's good. Enough saplings for a tree farm. What did I miss? Oh, sand. Oh, I didn't even notice that, but I have literally zero glass ever. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go on. That's fine. I'll find some way to make it work anyway. Hello, zombie. You can attack me. Don't get any bad ideas. Am I... Keep getting sidetracked, and yeah, I'm doing this right. Okay.
Well, this has been interesting so far. I'm pretty hectic there at the end. I hope this is uh, good viewing for you guys. I honestly thought I wasn't going to make it, but when I saw those reads, I freaked out. Ah, yes. And, uh, tiny. I can still see the ground. That's no good. I don't know how well you guys can see, but I don't really think I have a choice but to keep going at this point. Maybe I should be making a better effort to save the dirt blocks that I destroy. Maybe I should stand on top of it when I destroy it. I think it is worth it to lose this much dirt in order to have grass, though. Because grass is sweet. This doesn't look like tiny. I can still see the ground even at this height. Oh well, I'll just keep going up. This is going to be so hardcore. Um, so I, I won't even have an infinite cobblestone generator until I get my nether gate up, because I didn't bring any lava buckets, but that's fine. What can I throw away? Well, stone tools I can remake. I'm going to want to hold on to this stuff for now. No! <laughs> no, go away. <laughs> there we go. Um, what else do I have that's renewable? Not much. I did manage to get some redstone. That's kind of cool. So I can build, like, redstone torches for decoration or something. Have to be careful spending that, though. And even with what I'm building right now, I still have, like, two stacks of dirt, roughly. I mean, I'm going to use up a little bit more than I'd like building this, but... Man, it was crunch time there at the end. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. Not yet. This feels right. Okay. So, if anyone else wants to attempt an air city, make the nether gate your first priority, but don't forget other stuff. I don't have seeds, I almost forgot saplings. Stuff like that's kind of important. Um, no cacti. Again, don't really care. I have the nether, and that's the big deal. Oh, God. Stupid one diamond throwing me off and all. So, yes, eventually, grass will make its way all the way up this tower. I guarantee it. And when it does, I will have a pasture with what little dirt I have. I'm now slightly below two stacks. I can still see the ground. I wish there was a more dirt efficient way to bring grass up. I don't think it'll transfer to actually up floating blocks though, I'm not really sure. But all I know is that this does work, and that um, I did brief, because I have brought grass up before on the, the SDA multiplayer server. I got floating islands that I'm working on, and I am bringing grass up onto them using this tactic. And I did try the floating blocks and it didn't really work out. You know what, I'm actually going to stop after one more layer. So I'm using up all my dirt, that's not cool. Almost jumped off there, which is cool. So now I have to uh, do that. And this is the block that all my dirt's going to build up on, so I can't obscure it. I mean all my grass. This is where my grass is going to be. It's where I want my grass to come, eventually. And this is my air city. It's turning bright, thankfully. That looks pretty cool. Man, I'm just going to keep the crouch key mash down this whole challenge. Look at how hardcore this is. I can't see anything. Ah, oh, man, this is cool. Tiny view distance for the win. Yeah, that shouldn't... I should be able to get dirt up on here just fine. Ta-da! Welcome to my air city. Let me try and get a house first. 
And the reason that I don't want to just immediately go higher, even though I'm sure that I still have like 20 or 30 blocks to play with or something, is that it's very difficult to build downwards. It is easy to build upwards, but it's difficult to build downwards. Possible, but difficult. Um, there's actually one method that I never even thought of trying that I just thought, and I'm actually going to waste one gravel trying it. It might be possible to place a gravel, and then as the gravel falls, place a different block on it. Nope. So uh, the only way that I know is to take a water bucket and have it pour over the side, and then jump into the stream, float down, place a block upwards, float back up. But that is obviously really risky and kind of stupid, so I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Even though risky and stupid are my middle names. Not really sure what I'm building now. I guess I should try and get a house done. Just like a basic house. Oh man, this is hardcore. I think the tiny view distance really is what makes this challenge worthwhile. So if you try this yourself, make sure to play it on tiny, because playing on far, it'd be like, oh, look, I'm, I'm in the air, but there's still land. Meanwhile, this is just like, there's no land anywhere. You are all that there is. The air is all that there is. I don't have enough iron to do, like, anything. <laughs> Six iron. I mean, I can make two buckets, or I can make an, a mine cart, or I can make a compass, or... I could make one piece of iron armor, but none of that seems very tempting. Currently, I just want to spend some of my resources to open up some inventory space for my first trip into the nether to get some lava to get a cobblestone generator. I'm going to have to be really careful in the nether, though, because I don't want to die. That would really suck. You know, for my first house, I think these dimensions are looking pretty close to appropriate. And I will be able to occasionally glance out there and check and see what progress my grass is making. But for now... I guess I can afford to use some of these planks. I prefer to not use many. Let me make sure that 10 obsidian is actually the number. Let me go ahead and make my gate. Actually, now that I think about it. Because I mean, I'm 90% certain that 10 obsidian is what I need, but there is that, that nagging doubt in my mind. And I do have the supplies for a flint and steel and everything, so it's not like this is super costly. And I do have a diamond pick, which I'm not going to use for anything else, so I will eventually be able to move this gate if I want to. And put it inside some sort of epic shrine or something. Currently, I'd settle for just making sure that it works. Unreasonable doubt, perhaps, but existent doubt. So I'm not going to ignore it. I should also probably put in some rails, because I don't want to fall off. Like a noob. <laughs> I have, well, I will soon have infinite cobble, so not terribly expensive to just do like this, for instance. I even got a decent amount of coal. I mean, more than I expected, given that I didn't really try very hard ever to get any. <sighs> okay, let me finish my rim, actually. Crouch, crouch. <laughs> Man, I keep misplacing blocks. Durability is not free. Um, Health is also not free, but I think I'm going to have to... There we go. That was tricky. Ah, moment of truth! Huzzah! The nether.